Now, there's a particular competition that I have to ask you about, um, which is the 2001 Westside uh, Submission Grappling Tournament. Uh, Genki. When Genki Sudo came to town. Now, yeah. Now, I, there's a video online that I must have watched about a thousand or more times. Um, yeah. Of Genki uh, Sudo. Yeah, the highlight video. If you've got the full <laughs> thing, I'd love to. I'd love to see it. It's just, it has to be one of my favorites of all time. It's one of those ones that I'd show people. Hey, this is this is how cool this can be. Um, you you yeah. were the referee in that tournament. Of, um, so yeah. in, in the video, obviously, it was at your place. Um, right. Can you describe just just what like what's the backstory there? What what happened? Um, what went down that day? So I used to hold a tournament in my gym, West Side Submission Tournament, and I'd hold it every few months. Um, we'd give away either free pizza and, and drinks, or I'd get like a 10 foot subway sandwich and cut it and give away free food to the, to the competitors. Mm -hmm. And man, we had Roy Nelson. We had Herb Dean. We had Dean Lister. We, I mean, I had a lot of really good guys, Romy Aram, Javi Vasquez, like really good guys come in and, and do the tournament. Unfortunately, a lot of times they weren't there at the same time. They weren't there at the same tournament, you know, that day. Genki walked in and I didn't know who he was at the time. And, sure. and he had a couple of, uh, he had a couple of guys with him. I think some sort of publicity guy or journalist guy or something. I don't know, but I, I don't even know why he was, why he was in the U S and why he was at my gym or how yeah. he found out about, it. I don't know, but he just walks in my gym in, in Lake Forest, California. And, uh, I was like, Oh, this guy looks like he's going to be good. And flying triangle. And he went with my guy bow first and he flying triangles bow and he flying triangle the next three guys in a row. And I was like, shit, man, if we just saw those first three, 
you probably wouldn't have got flying, flying triangle. You might have got beat by something else, but probably wouldn't have got flying triangle. And so he hits those. Then he's dancing around one kid's guard and hops over his guard to a mounted triangle. Yeah. And then hits that rolling calf crusher. And now you can see me in the video just laughing when he hit that calf crusher. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, that was crazy. But he had seven matches and just ran through seven guys. Then he's, he's tired, sits down. Javi Vasquez walks in the door and he was going to do the absolute. And I was like, oh man, you know, I then went, I, I offered 500 bucks to the winner of both of them. Uh, back then, that was a lot of money in a jiu-jitsu match. Yeah. And I, I said uh, to Genki, and he goes, no, you know, he was tired. He, he was exhausted. He didn't want to go, and the hobby was fresh. And I got that. I was like, oh, okay, you know, hopefully you come back another time. And so that match did get to happen. It would have been pretty exciting because Javier was very good and and uh, would have definitely been the highest level guy that day that, that uh, Genki would have gone against. But how cool just to have that video of him showing up, <laughs> super nice, super nice guy, smoked everybody, and then just grabbed his uh, piece of pizza and left. <laughs> it was mind blowing. That that is inc- incredible, and I mean, it kind of matches kind of what I, what I picked up, what I thought was going on, which is like, which is yeah, like why is Genki Sudo here? And, yeah, and, and I, like, I was thinking the same thing you were. <laughs> and what what is going on, like? he's just because he's just he is such a creative grappler himself that oh, it's yeah. just amazing it's just incredible to watch but it, yeah it just did seem like it's like what what is going on um, yeah so did you ever see him again after that day in uh in america Not until or? i was in japan I, yeah, yeah i saw him in japan but i never saw him in america again i don't know what he was doing there <laughs> The cool thing about him was not only is he creative, he wasn't afraid to go for it, right? Like yeah, I'm creative, yeah. but I all my stuff has like a 99% exit strategy where I'm right back to a good spot. He yep. was just throwing things, you know. He was, he was, uh, it was, yeah, it was amazing to watch that day. Pretty cool. 